anybody else has noticed this or not. I went to the gas station. It was a Shell gas station. Went to the gas station. The sign next to the road said 217. Now, there's a bunch of people in other states right now are probably going, oh my gosh, your gas is only 217? Oh my gosh, ours is like three, four bucks, something like that. Yes, it's cheaper in Alabama. Um, so the sign said 217. I pulled in. I went inside and I, I always pay cash because I am a full believer I'm not going to be in debt. I'm not going to be, I did that once before, had a credit card, was in debt, not going to do it again because I pay cash. So anyway, I uh, went inside, paid to get gas, went back out to the pump, put the pump in my uh, car and turn around and went to hit the button you know because uh, i don't know how all gas stations are but pretty much you hit unleaded whatever supreme whatever anyway so i hit the button but when i hit the button i noticed it had the price in the screen above the button and it said 219 and i thought well, wait a minute sign says 217 this says 219 so I finished pumping, and it was a good thing at first uh, to back up. I asked the lady to give me a receipt, which was a good thing she gave me a receipt. So I got a receipt, and I was pumping gas, and I was like, well, this says 219, and I was just going to stop and then go in there and say something. But I thought, no, I'm going to pump the whole thing, and then I'll go in there and say, hey, what's up? Sign says 217. The uh, pump says 219. So after our pump, I go inside and I said, um, I said, uh, is the gas 217? Well, let me go back. I'm sorry. I'm getting out of, out of sorts here. Um, while I'm pumping gas, there's another man not on the same pump. You know, there's a pump, actual pump, and somebody can pump on one side, somebody can pump on the other side. Well, there was another pump across from me and there was this older man pumping and I asked him I said I said uh does your pump I said you're par pumping unleaded he said yeah and he had a pickup truck and I said does it say 219 or 217 he looked at it he said it says 219 and I said but the sign says 217 he said it sure does and so he just pumped his gas and went on and I thought oh heck no you ain't gonna take money from me. I'm at an age now, I have officially turned into my grandmother. I am going to get my money's worth. So when I went in there and I asked the lady at the counter, I said, um, your sign says 217, the pump says 219. And the girl immediately, she smiled and then said, hold on one second, let me go get my manager. She goes against the manager, the manager comes out. And I said, your sign says 217, pump says 219. She said, yeah. She said, if people are pumping the gas when the, the price changes, those pumps don't get turned over to the correct amount. And I said, okay. And she was trying to explain. And I thought, well, you know, that kind of makes sense. And she told the cashier, go out there, check all the pumps see if all the pumps say 219. Girl comes back, she says half says 219, half says 217. So the manager is on the little computer right there at the counter. She's fooling with the little computer. She said, she goes, oh, it's all two, um, 217 now. Go back out and make sure that all of them say 217. Well, she said, goes out there, the little cashier, she comes back, yeah, now all of them say 217. And I said, I said, okay, and she goes, you know, I'm sorry. The manager's like, I'm sorry, and I'm still standing there, and I said, well, you owe me some money, and she said, well, it was just, you know, a technical. I said, no, no, no. I said, it's the principle of the matter, you know, the matter. Um, you owe me some money. Now, sure, I only pumped nine gallons of gas, 22 cents, somewhere around in there. And the woman got mad. The manager got mad. And I said, you owe me some money. And she was like, she had an attitude and she goes, here's a quarter. And 
tipped her. Yeah. They were three extra cents. Three extra cents. Uh, you know, I shouldn't be complaining, but I'm trying to make sure everybody notices this. And you'll find out at the end of this video why. So she had an attitude and I looked at her and I said, you know, anybody can take a video of this, show the sign and show the pump and put it on Facebook. And I said, that right there would hurt your business. And the manager went, thought, stopped for a second, stopped talking. And she realized, she goes, yeah, that would. And I said, because people would think you're jipping them off. And um, she said, yeah, that would. And so I took my 25 cents, got in um, the car. Immediately I called Eric. I'm like, you ain't going to believe it. I was livid. I was like, you know, probably, and th this may not be true, but if you think about it, it could possibly be true. I'm just one car. There's no telling how many cars going in and out of this shell station. Two cents a gallon. They gypped, gypped me two cents a gallon. Well, everybody pretty much has SUVs and big trucks now. So you're figuring, what, a couple of bucks? You know, because some SUVs take, what, 30, 40? I don't know. Some of them are pretty huge. They take a lot of gas. But, you know, and you got so many cars coming in there, I would not be surprised if that manager and that cashier could figure out how to, at the end of the day, get that, especially those who pay with cash, how to refund it and they get, uh, get the money and put it in their pocket. That was, you know, one thing that came to my mind. So after I told Eric, I was like, you know what? I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna go on that gas station. They probably got a you know a website or something. I go home and I look it up. Well, come to find out, uh, if you go to Yelp, Yelp will let you put a complaint. Now, if you go to somebody's Facebook page. They can take your complaint off because that's their Facebook page. They don't have to leave your, your bad comment on there. But if you go to Yelp, you could put a comment on there and it's there. It pretty much can't be taken off. You know, that's on the internet. So I put that on. I typed the situation. I included that the person gave me 25 cents. I was, I was due 22 cents. I got 25 cents. Um... And so, um, but then I thought, I'm going to look some more. And as I looked, I came across the Shell website, the Shell gas station, not just for that gas, gas station, but for all gas stations that have, that are Shell, owned by Shell. And so when I went on there, there was other complaints where people had taken photos of their receipt and the sign and the pump where the price was different. So this is not the first time Shell has done this. And I just want to make people aware, make sure that if you see a sign, gas station sign, and it says one price, when you go to pump, make sure that price is the same price that's on the street sign. Because, and especially if you go to a Shell gas station, they are jipping people off. You think, ah, two cents. Like that guy with the truck. He was like, ah, two cents. He didn't think it. I'm sitting here thinking, you know, there's a lot of cars. It could be like 30 cars a day. You add that up for, you know, seven days. Then you add it for four weeks. Then you add it for 12 months. And um, you, you're talking about probably a couple thousand dollars. And so I just wanted everybody to know. Make sure you check your get the price on the street sign and the gas pump. All right, I'm through. I want to know why all gas stations charge nine tenths of a cent that's okay leave it up there okay nine tenths of a cent per gallon extra 
my entire life and I've seen that in every state every gas station if the price like she says is 217 it's not 217 it's 2.179 they always charge nine tenths of a cent now, I know why it's because they get nine tenths of a cent extra and you don't think you're paying it but no one else does that you don't pay nine you don't pay at the store you know 1.999 you pay 99 cents they don't ha add this nine tenths of a cent and they've been doing it for at least 40 years I want to know if anybody knows how that got started yeah inquiring minds want to know let me know where the nine tenths of a cent came from